Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Blanco de Slam. And as you can see on the screen here, we do, of course, have another glitch for the KO Perico heist in GTA Online. In order for you to get gold solo, which of course is impossible to do, unless you are doing these glitches, because of course you do need two key cards to get into these rooms normally. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that today. Apparently, a lot of people say it's been patched, but obviously it hasn't. But before we get into it, of course, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It takes one second of your time and really helps the channel grow. And of course, helps with the YouTube algorithm. And chances are, if you are watching this video, you are not subscribed. But anyway, let's get into the setup here it is on screen uh we're doing the long fin approach with the airstrip i'm not gonna you know let that all play out it's gonna take up too much time we're just gonna go ahead and skip to the airstrip you guys all know at this point how to do the long fin approach and get to the airstrip i'm just showing that we got you know a pack of white stuff here because of course we are looking to do the elite challenge so before we go ahead and do the gold uh you know glitch inside the compound we did have to come here and grab our white stuff because unfortunately i did not get two stacks of gold inside the basement door which is the glitch that we are going to be doing today if you do get two gold packs in the basement door i suggest just doing that but of course we got our white stuff and now we made our way to the compound like i said i'm just gonna skip ahead because this is a video just going over the glitch not really so much the route but here i did slow it down to show you guys the route on how to get downstairs in case you still don't know but if you are looking for a full type of guide for ko perico i will leave multiple videos linked in the description below some of them are just finale guides some of them are the set of missions and finale guides so if that is what you're looking for i will leave those linked in the description below but like i said this is pretty much just going to be showing the door glitch i just wanted to show some preliminary steps on how we get downstairs and how we filled up our bag just so it could all make sense in the end but anyway this is the route that i usually take it's full stealth you don't have to drop any bodies and it will land you in the basement and we are just gonna of course go upstairs into the office and use the fingerprint cloner a lot of people still have a little bit of confusion with the fingerprint cloner it's very easy man it's just numbered one through six the top fingerprint is going to be obviously it's going to look like the top of a print and the one all the way on the bottom is going to look like the bottom of a print and you just have to literally count it out the second bar is the second one after the top print and the third and the fourth and the fifth and you literally just count one through six and it should work every single time and that's pretty much how you do the fingerprint cloner but anyway let's move i'm going to talk uh let's move forward i'm going to talk a little bit about uh the door glitch itself so uh moving forward with the door glitch like i said a lot of people i put up a video not too long ago about a month and a half ago almost two months ago and everyone said it was patched but as you can see it's not it just takes a little bit of time man i'm like an expert at it and it still takes me a little bit of time as you can see here i have this fast forwarded uh but i will slow it down in just a sec so you guys can see that i did get through and i'll go like in super slow motion but it definitely still works man as you can see here we activated the camera glitch right there and I'll get into the camera glitch and everything like that in just a sec. But you can see it definitely still works, man. Like, I don't know, a lot of people are leaving comments saying that it doesn't work. But as you can see, just after three or four tries, I got into the wall. And it just takes practice and perseverance, man. Don't say things don't work, you know, just because you don't know how to do them. Because then you're putting misinformation out to people and nobody wants that, right? So just, you know, practice it, man. It definitely still works. And as you can see, we are grabbing gold while solo. We don't have two gold stacks, unfortunately. But let's do it now in slow motion. So step one. You're going to jump up on this first box here in this corner. Then you're going to look up to the roof, kind of like in the corner right there, this little like brick overlay. And you're going to want to jump up towards it and kind of like, I guess, you know, hit your character's head with it a bit. He's going to drop down from the second box back to the first box. And once he drops down, you don't want to fall down to the floor. You want to just have him fall down to the first box. And once he falls down to the first box, you jump off. And this right here is when the camera glitch gets activated. So you have to do it in first person like I did here. And then you want to just line up your eyesight right here with the corner. You want to hold back on your analog. Obviously it changes depending on what console you're playing on. For me, it's back on the analog while pressing square. Then you want to allow him to drop down and just get nice and snug into this corner right here to the left of the box. So you're going to just drop down and push the analog to the left. Then you want to face the primary target just like this. And then once again, you want to press back on the analog while pressing square. And he'll jump up and phase through the wall. And once he starts phasing through the wall just a little bit, you want to just slightly tap on your analog forward to walk forward. You don't want to hold it down too hard because then sometimes it doesn't work. You want to just very lightly and elegantly push it forward. 
and you should get through the wall, man. So like I said, it definitely works. It's definitely worth it because once you master it, it only takes about five minutes to get in there. And like I said, if you get two stacks of gold in the basement, it will be worth, you know, a lot of money. And it makes the Kale Perico heist very, very elite. But anyway, we're going to finish out this heist here. If you guys do want a video of me showing the other door glitches i've done the basement door glitch a few times now i will actually do a video showing all the other glitches in a video maybe coming next week i will show maybe all of them in one video but this one right here is pretty much the basement door glitch i find this one to be the easiest and the one that i most highly recommend like i said if you don't understand it you know just rewind back to the part that i slowed it down and just go over it step by step, man. It definitely works. I I just did this yesterday. So I'm recording this, you know, today. I'm uploading this today. But this video clip is from yesterday as of the day of posting this video. So, you know, it's been after the patch, after the Chop Shop update. A lot of people said, oh, you know, the update, you know, after they updated it, it doesn't work anymore. But absolutely not the case. It definitely still 100% works. And you could definitely, definitely still go on and get your gold. And I suggest keep taking advantage of it until Rockstar patches it. We're going to keep getting in that gold man and that's just pretty much what it is right but anyway let's get off this compound again i'll just kind of guide you guys through here most people should know how to do this but if you don't i will be finishing out the heist really quick during this video and like i said if you are looking for a full you know more uh, guide of Kale Perico more in depth where he's showing all the setup missions or the finales I will leave a few different videos linked in the description below you know what all types of different guides some of them are just finales some of them is the full height but I definitely suggest checking those out if you want a full guide this video like I said is just mostly to show the glitch and how to get gold solo and show that it does still work this is not intended to be you know some sort of full in-depth guide so if that is what you are looking for i highly suggest checking out the videos i have linked in the description but this is pretty much how you get off the island man you just smack the guy outside for his bike you get on the bike and just follow the route that i did you're gonna jump on into the water then once you're in the water you just swim away until the text at the bottom disappears where it says escape from care perico once that's gone you want to just stop swimming it will end the mission faster and boom there we go we're back at madrazo's house where we can collect our profit and heist is done door glitch still works confirmed like i said i just did this yesterday and you know that pretty much wraps up the video man but anyway i do want to thank you guys for all your support like i said just take one second to hit the like button hit the subscribe button it really helps the channel grow and also helps with how the uh, video performs in the youtube algorithm and i'll leave it at that man i hope you boys have a happy new year's i hope you guys enjoy your holidays spend it with your family your loved ones and until the next video peace out